Hey guys, welcome to a new video. If you're new here, I'm April, I'm a skincare and cosmetic chemist. I talk about all things skincare, back end, front end, of all things skincare. To be interested in that, definitely hit that like button for me down below. Subscribe to the channel, join the family, because we're here every week, every week, talking about skincare. All right, y'all, as you guys can tell, this video will be all about sunscreens, physical sunscreens. Since I made my last video here on physical sunscreens, I've been getting a lot of messages and requests to do another one about more options for physical sunscreens, and I I am excited to tell you guys that I have found some really, really good purchases, some really, really good buys for physical sunscreen. So you guys are going to be really excited about all of the products that I'm going to talk about in today's video. I know physical sunscreens are, you know, especially for people with dark skin, it's really hard to come by the ones that, you know, do not leave that horrible, horrible, awful white cast. So I'm really, really excited to be talking to you guys about these ones. Physical sunscreens typically contain zinc oxide, titanium oxide, and they also contain iron oxide. They're actually really good for people with dark skin because these oxides are really great for helping Helping treat hyperpigmentation. So if you are dealing with hyperpigmentation, you definitely want to invest in one of these or just any physical sunscreen that you like more than chemical, just because, like I said, they are really, really great for hyperpigmentation or dark spots. All right, let's just jump right into the video because we're not wasting time, okay? We're not gonna waste time, and I want you guys to just see the way these sunscreens work and yeah, check them out at your local stores. All right, starting with this one. This is a really baby. Sunscreen, this one is a Cetaphil Sheer Mineral Sunscreen Stick and it's SPF 50. This one has titanium 6%, zinc 4%. Watch it here. All right, I'm just gonna try to blend it. This one I've actually found to be pretty good at leaving zero white cast. You guys can see that blended in really, really well. And this one's great for like touch up um, throughout the day. Granted, if you have like bit of makeup on, it might stain the top of it, but just wipe it down when you're done. This one is in form of a deodorant situation. It's really, really good. No white cast, like I said. I love the formulation. It goes in really, really well. I'm also dim I'm just going to demo it one more time because why not? Zero white cast, as you guys can see there. I love it. Let's move right on to the next one. The next sunscreen here is this one by Dr. Sam's. Dr. Sam's is a YouTuber here on YouTube. What? <laughs> YouTuber here on YouTube? Dr. Sam's is a doctor. I believe she's a dermatologist. I believe so. But yeah, she has this sunscreen, which is amazing. I've been using it literally every day. It has zinc oxide. This one is so good because it's so moisturizing. I don't even need a moisturizer. She also has a moisturizer in her line. I just love Dr. Sam and everything that she does on YouTube. I absolutely love her videos. This one takes some time to blend in, but ultimately you do not get that white cast, which I love, love, love. Okay, ah, come on, go in, go in, go in. And there you have it, guys. That looks really good, doesn't it? Yeah, no white cast whatsoever. Maybe a little bit of a hint more than the other uh, one from Cetaphil, but I really, really like this one. Definitely will be spending my coins on it, but this one was sent to me from Dr. Sam's and her team, so thank you so much, Dr. Sam's, for sending me this. Next one is this one by Venus Williams. This is the 11 by Venus Williams. It's an SPF 35, 100% shea mineral sunscreen with 25% zinc oxide. Ah, 25%, I'm kind of scared. When you start going really high up in that percentage, that's when you start to see that white cast. But let's just hope that we're good. Okay, now this dropper is giving me a little bit of a hard time here. It's one of those droppers where you press in and like you pick up the product. It's not really picking it up, so I don't know. I don't know that I like that dropper, but we're just going to work with what we have. So I'm just going to drop. Okay, let me just one drop. <laughs> Try to get more out. Okay. Oh, I think I'm doing a horrible job at this. Now we're just gonna work with two, three drops, okay? That's <laughs> something. And I'm just gonna try to blend it. It literally says no white cast on the bottom, so it's like, girl, don't, you're not gonna worry about a white cast in. They're right. I will say this one has like a chalky texture. Yeah, a really chalky texture. I'm not sure if I'm feeling that texture, but no white cast, as you guys can tell. My arms still look pretty good. Obviously, more moisturized than this one, but this is what it looks against my regular arm and the one with the sunscreen. And the next time, I'm just going to go over to this arm so we can, you know, try to not have all the products on one hand. The only drawback to this one, I will say, is definitely that dropper. I'm not a fan, and the texture is throwing me off a little bit. But otherwise, no white cast. And of course, I kind of support black owned business, so Venus Williams, I would definitely drop my coins if I were to run out of that one. Okay, so next sunscreen is this one by Bliss. It's an SPF 30. I have used this down <laughs> this is like my everyday i love the sunscreen initially oh my god the light situation okay it's back initially when i got the sunscreen i was like okay this is not gonna work because it's tinted right and i was so terrified that it was not gonna work but when i started to use it every day i was so blown away 
And yes, as I'm applying it, I'm sure you guys are like, what is happening? But I'm promising you guys that it does go away. Just keep the faith and keep blending. It smells very interesting. Let me see how much zinc it is. It has 4% titanium and 11% zinc in this one. So let's keep blending. As you guys can see, it it goes away. Y'all see that? Yeah, so this one is a very tricky one, but absolutely love this one by Bliss. So good job, Bliss. Okay, next sunscreen is this one by Dr. Dennis Gross. It's an SPF 30. It has just zinc. This one is zinc 16%. I'm gonna put it right here in front of my arm. And I love the dropper on this one. Absolutely love the dropper. I've used this one a few times. Also use it on my TikTok. And um, yeah, let's just blend it out. I think this one has a, like, a bit of a white cast, just a bit. Definitely not one that I reach for too much, but I, I think it's still like a really good one because you know, I don't mind a hint of a white cast, but when it gets like ridiculous, like the ones that I tried in my last This School Sunscreen video, then I can't mess with it. But this one still looks pretty good. I mean, obviously more of a white cast uh, than the other ones before, but yeah, still a really good one if you ask me. The next one is this one by Color Science. And this one is one that has gone viral on my TikTok. I actually demoed or duetted someone's video on this one. And um, I was so shocked. I think they did a really good job with like, you know, just the research on this one. This one actually changes as you put it on. So it starts off white and it actually turns into like a whole different color. So we're just gonna go back to this arm. You guys are literally gonna see magic right now. So you guys look at this literally starts to change into brown. You guys see this? It's so cool. And I'm not gonna lie, this one has have more white cast than the others, I will say. But this one is an SPF 50. It's supposed to act like a foundation slash tinted moisturizer situation, but it does change from that color sunscreen to this. And I think I posted a short about this on my YouTube channel and uh, people literally were like, try it on in the video. and. Yeah, you guys, what it looks like. It is uh, very interesting. It definitely looks like foundation and it does have sort of like a, you guys can't really see it, but it has like a little pe peeling coming off of it. But if you're looking for sort of that, like, you know, you don't really want to wear foundation, but you want to also have sunscreen protection, this could be really cool. This is a deep color, which is like the deepest shade that they had. So I feel like they could come up with something deeper, but um, for now, um, if you're a little bit lighter than me, I think this would work. But after I left it on for a while, I definitely noticed that it was a little cakey. Okay, y'all, so it's getting pretty dark now. I've been wearing the sunscreen for about 30 to, 30 to 45 minutes. And I can, I see a white cast, honestly. It's not horrible, but I can clearly see the difference between my neck and my face. You can see that little demarcation right there, which is really not my vibe. And my hands are a little stained from, you know, just applying that. So yeah, and also like I said, there's pills coming off. I'm not sure where the peeling is coming from, but it definitely is like little pills in my uh, my palm here. So yeah, that's that. And the next one is this one by Skincare MD. This is actually the only hybrid sunscreen I will be. Oh gosh, that brown stain is coming off in all the other products. Um, this one is by SPF 46 by Alta MD. This is a hybrid sunscreen, and what that means is that it has both physical and chemical filters. Um, so if you kind of want to have both, you know, filters in your sunscreen, let's just go for it and see how it looks on camera. Okay, you guys see that? It's definitely a hint of a white cast. It's not terrible. I haven't really reached for this one, but like I said, if you're one of those people that likes to have protection from chemical and physical sunscreens, then this is definitely your forte. I haven't seen a lot of hybrid sunscreens in the market, so definitely try that one. Second to last one is this one by Cetaphil. I'm actually gonna go really quickly with these last two. I really pray there's no white cast. It says share mineral sunscreen. Whenever it says share, I'm always really iffy, but um, just give it a chance, eh, bro? And just a little bit because I don't you know if I have too much product. I don't have too many products in my arm. Ooh, 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 ooh. See the bill. Okay. Um, yeah, definitely a wide cast, honey. Yeah, no, we we we're not doing this one. Hopefully that clears up, but uh, honestly the way it's already looking. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know about this one. <laughs> and I was gonna actually try this one last, the SPF 50, but the way this is, the SPF 30 is looking, I think we already know what the SPF 50 is gonna look like. So uh, that's it for this video, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I have finally come around to doing this video. I guess I'm gonna request for more physical sunscreen. So I hope you guys were able to make a choice for all the ones that I demoed in this video. I had fun trying all of these products on camera. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Which one was your favorite? Which one do you, which physical sunscreen are you guys using right now that you're absolutely loving? Please share. I'm sure the subscribers will love to hear from you guys. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.